Today I have the honor and pleasure to announce the new chief of the Johnson Fire Department after a nationwide search and several days of interviews. Before I announce the new chief, I'd like to say a few words about the process. First, I want to thank our Deputy Chief of the Police Department, Chief DeCesare, who uh, I have assigned him to the Fire Department for the day-to-day -day, uh, administration, and, and thank you very much for taking on the two tasks. I really appreciate that. Uh, he has kept an open line of communications between the Fire Department this administration, assuring that the men and women of the Fire Department would have an open line of communication to my administration. His excellent leadership and management style was a huge asset to me and, of course, to the city of the, the town of Johnson. As I said, probably 170 years of experience to combine uh, all the experience, and, and, and I'll need my 21 and a half years out because uh, these gentlemen really, they were, the, they were the soldiers of the committee. Our decision was based on many facts, which I'll discuss shortly. There were over 50 applicants from all over the country with several from Rhode Island. We based our decision on the questions asked to include firefighting experience, administrative experience, and operational experience. We narrowed the search down from 50 highly qualified individuals to seven of the most qualified individuals. And of course, this was no doubt a most difficult decision due to the high caliber candidates that had applied to be the chief of the Johnson Fire Department. Then the seven candidates were narrowed down to three. Again, another difficult decision. There were, uh, there were two from Rhode Island and one from uh, the FDNY and the Bronx section of New York. Those final three were grilled with questions regarding several issues, and I mean this committee grilled them. Management skills, style of operation, operational skills, how were they on budgets, obtaining grants both local and federal. Uh, where would they like to see the Johnson Fire Department if they were going to be chosen as the chief for the next 10 years? And also what their plan would be for the first year as chief if they were chosen for the Johnson Fire Department. I was very impressed with the committee's line of questions. They really, really pushed these candidates. The committee left no stone unturned, and all questions were answered. Also, Chief Tamburini, once we started to obviously boil it down, uh, put his staff into effect and we started doing background checks, checking with former employees, neighbors, people they worked with, people that they were appointed. Uh, and once again, all three candidates came through with flying colors. Uh, the answers that they gave us, you know, we brought them back, the answers they gave us were flawless. Once again, another difficult decision to make. Finally, uh, this past Monday, I uh, was sitting down uh, with, uh, with Chief Tamburini and uh, my Chief of Staff, Doug Jeffrey, who I also want to thank, and uh, speaking to the Chiefs uh, via telephone, and I didn't want to drag them back again to the committee because they came back enough. And, uh, but uh, we, we, we decided and, and, and I told them who I who really uh, wanted to uh, choose, and they, we all agreed, obviously. Uh, one would not only bring a lot of experience, but also be able to come in. Well, which I feel is a great fire department. You know, I've, we've had our differences with the fire department, but I still think the men and women of the fire department, uh, they do a great job, and I trust them with uh, my life and the lives of my family, regardless of uh, what their issues are, what their political issues are. As I, as, I, as I told all of the candidates during the interview process, we have dedicated men and women who needed a leader. It was a difficult task filling the Chief Baines' shoes. Chief Baines did a great job. He had 35 years of experience. And uh, he decided to take another direction uh, to obviously move on and go into the private sector. My decision was clear and concise, though, however, when I really started thinking. Uh, it was a very difficult decision, without hesitation, that I knew that Chief Tim McLaughlin would be Johnson's new fire chief. I spoke to Mayor James Doyle, I gave him a call uh, in, in his new career, and uh, before I made my decision, I wanted to talk to Chief, chief Doyle, I mean, uh, Mayor Doyle. I'm sorry, I don't need you the chief. It's not, it's not what cracks up to be take my word for it. <laughs> And uh, as I said, I inquired uh, and the Chief McGrath's leadership skills and his strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, Mayor Doyle and I have known each other for many, many years, and uh, he's a straightforward guy, Mayor Doyle. And he said there were no weaknesses, but there were many, many strengths. Mayor Doyle gave him a glowing recommendation. Mayor Doyle told me that Tim was an extremely talented, bright, caring, dedicated public servant who takes any and all of his duties very seriously. Chief McGrath is highly respected by his peers, as you can see, with the people that are here today, and also as well as the rank and file. Other chiefs throughout the state that I spoke with, as well as the committee members, said that he's a go-to guy that gets things done. He's not afraid to take on any challenge that comes his way. And I truly believe that I, along with the board, have made the proper decision. Chief McLaughlin will be a welcome addition to my administration to the citizens of our town. So on behalf of the citizens of our town, in my administration, I want to welcome Chief McLaughlin. So at this point, I, I, I want to bring him up to the podium, introduce him, and maybe he can say a few words, and uh, we'll go from here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank the committee and yourself for giving me this opportunity. It's, uh, I can't wait to get to work, actually. It's been a 
while. I've been out for a year and a half. I'm certainly looking forward to uh, getting back into it again, and, and I think Johnson's a, a perfect place to do it. Uh, everything I've heard, the men and women of the department are, are fantastic, and I look forward to working with them and, getting, and moving the department forward. Like my friends and colleagues, family, my wife, my dad, my old boss. <laughs> and I'd like to thank everybody, and I can't wait to get going. I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Chief. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Mrs. McLaughlin for allowing us to come to, back to work again. And, uh, Mrs. McLaughlin, thank you. I can tell you a great role model for, for your, uh, for your uh, son. He was, he's a great guy. So once again, I think it's really uh, fantastic we have a chief of this caliber. He, uh, he is a great guy. And as I said, I had a very frank conversation with my colleague, uh, Mayor Doyle. Um, Mayor Doyle is uh, uh, a lot like me. He tells it like it is. You know, my grandmother used to say the truth is fun, but he's full of truth. He said, the guy's a great guy. He'll never let you down. But most of all, he will not let the citizens and the men and women of the fire department down. So it's, a, it's obviously a tribute to your history in Pawtucket. Thank you. Thank you.